All right, then the next one. So that one, that previous one from last week's social, that was nice. <laughs> but people played nice on that one. But when it came to discussing who is the toughest Sharks ever, which was another subject from last week, and Francis, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to think about who you think the toughest Shark was that you came across. This one was somewhat heated and somewhat discussed, but then also there was a clear winner at the end. So Tommy Bishop obviously came up, um, and then, you know, the, the legendary ones, uh, Ray Cochran, um, didn't get to call up from Maddie's chat, but there's a good story there. Yeah. Steve Neen was a popular choice. He came up a few times. Uh, Les, we led with him. He made the list. He was popular. I didn't know this one. Perry Haddock. Uh, and then, and Francis, you were telling us that Perry was a halfback. Is that right? Yeah, halfback uh, for Cronulla and then with St. George. And he coached at St. George with Ron Reddy and um, Brian Smith for quite a few years. And I believe he went uh, on a trip with Brian and Kay to the States and came back with the idea of Oztag from the AF, uh, the American football tag game. And the rest oh, is right. history there. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, he was a great that one time. Quite tough for his size. He's only small. And quite innovative. All yeah. right. Uh, I'm not sure who Sombrero is, but, Brian, that's a great suggestion. Uh, Rob Rowan. Uh, the Sorensen brothers came up quite a lot. Um, Marty and Marty Lang and Nathan Long. They were some tough buggers. Um, and then, yeah, we got hammered a little bit, fellas. So, yeah, uh, Michael Baggist, he was not um, happy with us thinking that we had no idea what we were talking about. And, yes, Michael, you're right. We do have no idea. We don't claim to know everything. We just kind of talk about stuff. Uh, Rick Burke came up, Steve Neen again, uh, Les Davidson, Kurt Sorensen, Gav Miller, Les Davidson. Uh, Greg Bird apparently broke his ri two ribs in a game, and I really don't think we went through that one. Uh, John O'Docking, Cliff Watson, Nathan Long. Hard to separate the usuals. Uh, then G Train Gallon, he came up a lot second. So Danny Lee and Gallon came up a lot. But we pretty much then got into all the Gavin Miller fans. And then Gavin Miller was just by far and away the standout winner. So whilst we couldn't split them, uh, the social media certainly did. And the conclusion was is that Gavin Miller is Don Rogers coming through there saying Gavin Miller. Um, so the conclusion was that Gavin Miller according to the fans, uh, is the toughest shark of all time. Francis, who did you, well, who did we not mention who was a uh, tough shark there that we probably should yeah. have that you came across in your time? No, oh, you covered all my ones. The Sorensen brothers were just finishing when we started. They were very tough. And um, I, I really had a lot of time for Danny Lee because he was an undersung hero, never took a backward step. It's a little bit lumbering, but very, very tough. Yeah. So, he was um, tough. Yeah, I, I like Danny, and uh, I don't think you can take it away from Gavin. Uh, he was the first uh, Sharks player ever treated, and um, he was so motivated in his rehabilitation with all his injuries. He would pester you about, you know, what to do, what to do, what more can I do over and over again. He was very motivated to not to miss a game. You know, he's so tough. Yeah, so I agree with your uh, uh, all the viewers' sort of suggestions, yeah. Were there all different right, there preparations back then for recovery compared to, say, now with all the ice baths and, and whatnot? Uh, ice, ice, um, ice baths are, you know, uh, a new sort of technology of, of the older regular icing, just ice, ice, ice and more ice. Uh, you know, eskies with ice, uh, baths with ice at home, the players used to do that. So it's they're not new, they're, they're more readily accepted. Um I know, I don't, I hope Gavin doesn't mind me talking about him, but yeah, he was, he wanted to have every piece of equipment that we had in our physio practice at home. And he wanted <laughs> to know what settings to put them on and how long to put them on. Um, but yeah, today's a lot more structured with the recovery. Uh, players are more, you know, uh, more educated on how to look after themselves in the older days. And, um, you know, a lot of the older players, it was, you know, beers and cigarettes, not, not recovery and, and fluid replacement and carbohydrate and healthy meals, etc. So, yeah, it's changed a lot, uh, Franco. Gotcha. Yeah. Jeez, you've just built on Gavin Miller's legacy amongst this group, haven't you? <laughs> he was such well, a legend. He, he, he was very impressive. Yeah. Well, you've got to be tough. Yeah. Like, look, I, we've, I've played sport and I've come off afterwards and thought to myself, you know what, I need to jump in an ice bath. And you never <laughs> do it. But these guys, yeah. they like doing it. So, you know, oh, goodness. All right, well, Gavin Miller, you are, the, I'm calling it. Gavin Miller, you are the toughest shark ever. 